All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to In These Streets. I'm your host, DJ OG1, your official Portland Trailblazer DJ, celebrity DJ, all the titles you want to add to it, but y'all know what it is in the city of Portland, the Rose City. And I got some special guests with me today. Some special guests. Oh, I don't man. know how special. I don't know how hey, special. Hey, 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 hey. It, it is <laughs> special because what y'all getting ready to bring to Tacoma and the city of Portland, uh, I have not seen. And I'm going to just be totally transparent. I haven't seen like this. You mm. know, you got podcasts out there and, and people doing their thing and shout out to them. But uh, the way that y'all do it uh, is incredible. So, so welcome to the show, Thank the you. host of And Then We... And I'll let y'all continue. To yeah. Uh, and then we, and we're going to get into that. And then we, I have the guests, Kristen Seville and my man, J-Rod. Welcome to In These Streets. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. Thank you. So for those that don't know about your podcast, mm -hmm. tell them about your podcast. How is, how, you know, how did you guys come up with the idea of the format that you uh, guys are doing. What would made you come up with it? It's all his fault. So you should be able to say it. Yeah. He passed um, the well, we've gone through mad iterations of the uh, of the show. Uh, when we first started, it was basically a, um, it was supposed to be an interview show mm -hmm. um, where we took comedians and we talked to them about different things they had going on um, and, you know, asked about their dating life and things of that nature. Um, we also wanted a component on the show though, where we would have some banter and people can get to know us so that if we couldn't get a guest one week, we can do the show yeah. and they're still good with it. Um, so we recorded two episodes, the very first time we recorded, and this is back in 2018, I think. Yeah. Well, 17. well, 17 is when we first recorded. Yeah. 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 Uh, recorded in 2017. We we dropped the first episode in 2018. The first two episodes. First episode, we had um we had ourselves up there. And the second episode, we had Damon Wayans Jr. Mm -hmm. up there. Mm -hmm. Um, oh. and what we found out very quickly was that people liked the episode where we were interviewing Damon Wayans. Junior, but they really loved our banter between each other. Mm -hmm. Um, so for you know, a couple of months we still did the interviews and everything. Um, but what we were finding was that people were still gravitating to the banter that we had. We weren't good at interviews. Yeah, well, that's it. <laughs> that that's part of it. We were really bad. We did one, we did an interview with B Simone and Desi Banks, and all in the comments is like. Why y'all keep talking about you? Y'all not letting them say nothing. This is like, it was really bad. It was, bad. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, but, you know, we, we were growing. We were trying to figure things out. Um, and, you know, through through the, the episodes kept going, we just really started building something that we found that was kind of unique. Mm -hmm. um, because there were, you know, at the time, there were a lot of podcasts out there that were talking about relationships and they were talking about, you know, sex and things of that nature. But they weren't, um, in our opinion, a lot of them wasn't attacking it from an honest perspective. Um, you know, how a man truly feels, whether it's right or wrong, how a woman truly feels, whether it's right or wrong, whether it's going to hurt feelings, whether any, any of those things. Um, we were really putting out raw, um, just just raw feelings. And people really gravitated to that, good or bad, because there were a lot of episodes, especially in the beginning. It's still some. <laughs> where you know we would we would walk up from the mic we would put the mics down and we mad at each other for a couple of days yeah. like just mm. angry um but it really not only uh uh it, it it really touched the listeners and it also strengthened our bond you know because we were newlyweds when we started this so you know that that's really how it came to be and you know through the years we've just gotten better basically so, so with the title, I know you guys made some, uh, I, I, I know you made some marketing adjustments in yeah. terms of the, the title, but when you came up with, and then we had sex, um, what would made you think of that title particularly? Um, I came up with the title first because I had listened to a couple of different podcasts and I was like, having open-ended questions or just random sayings like was kind of in, but then I realized that everything that we did have like we everything happened really fast with us like 
We uh, like got engaged fast. We got married fast. We had our kids fast, like moved in. Everything happened super fast, but it was like all after like we had sex. So it was kind of like, oh, after <laughs> then we had sex and then this happened and then this happened. Right. Like it kind of built everything else up like after that initially happened. Yeah, so. I hit quick. So, you know. Wow. <laughs> crazy. You know. Wow. I still do. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Still so do. I, I still can tell do. you watching in some of the episodes, it, it just made sense because I think the thing that draw, drew me uh about you guys because one being a married being a married man yeah. uh, I've been married 34 years Ooh, and dope. you know and I know the conversations that are had that are not in in public you know mm -hmm. uh, all the time is just either around friends and things that you don't see publicly discussed necessarily and so what drew me in uh was the fact that it was like you guys were just having your conversations Mm -hmm. And you're inviting the audience to check y'all out. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. It right. Real. It felt real. It felt authentic. It didn't feel manufactured or anything like that. And some mm -hmm. of the tough topics that y'all were talking about, I was just like, oh, she just said that. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, he just said that. Oh, for real. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I know what I be thinking sometimes, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> and so you guys are just blatantly saying it out there. Uh, so again, uh, for those that are just tuning in, uh, and then we, uh, my yeah. guest hosts, uh, J Rod and 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 uh, Kristen uh, are coming to Portland on September 14th. But before they stop in Portland, they're going to be in Tacoma, Washington, at the Super Funny Comedy Club. So y'all mm -hmm. make sure y'all check them out. The link is going to be in the bio, in the description, and all those things. Um, amazing couple, super <laughs> funny, but super. Real, super real. Yeah, and so with the shows, now that you guys, you know, you obviously are having success online, uh, on social media, YouTube, all of those things. Now you guys have packaged this and now you're going on the road. What has been that experience transitioning from online to actually being in front of a live audience having these discussions? So it's a little bit of... um so I I did stand I've done stand up for years I've been doing stand up for I think this would be year fourteen even though I haven't done it this year but because I've been busy with the podcast but I've been doing stand up for a while and um he came from singing so we've been on stage before so we were very familiar with being on stage um he came from singing and then writing comedy and stuff so it wasn't as hard to transition to stage but it was it was difficult the first time we did it was um before pandemic like we did it at our home club and it was just like something that we were just trying out and i think the next show we did was like in dc right yeah yeah and it was literally the week before the world shut down yeah we did a show they were talking about uh -huh. this COVID thing and they were like oh this might happen and then we did a show and it was a small show but it was like oh that's cool that we're even reaching people mm -hmm. and then the world shut down and it was like we didn't know what we were doing um so we built up more of a following after that after the world shut down because everybody was in the house they had shit to do but watch right. social media yeah. right so uh we did that and like built up more of a file started going viral like randomly and all this other stuff so when we went back on the road it was like oh there's people here that like have been listening that identify with what we're talking about that don't think that because I mean we're a bunch of weirdos like don't they're just like <laughs> we relate to that this is interesting you're being very authentic and it felt comfortable to go on stage because we were talking to people that had been listening yeah. all pandemic yeah so right. they were relating they knew us they could identify with different things we were talking about so it wasn't like jarring it was like oh these are people that like us these aren't people that are just showing up to a comedy show they like follow the show yeah. right so it was it was different from doing it the first time and being like oh this is cool and then you get the people that have been doing nothing but listening to us the entire pandemic which is crazy yeah that's crazy yeah i didn't want to listen to her for the entire I, pandemic. me like, either like, oh my god like now y'all want to listen to us? that that is beyond nah, we have fresh babies and everything like yeah, we had fresh wow. kids and everything recording that so it was yeah. like one we're getting out of the house away from the kids because we have four and then right. we were going out to all these people that like knew us. Yeah. 
It was different right. than stand up. Yeah, it was like, oh, we're having a conversation with our cousins. It's like it's cool. Yeah, so, yeah, and, and, and that's what know. it feels like. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they well, fun. it feels <laughs> like the, it feels like a, it feels like a hangout type of vibe. Like, hey, we getting friends and together and people together, and we just gonna have some some real conversation. Exactly. Yeah, you know is. what I mean? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and I think that's dope. And I think that's the thing that's so unique about what you guys are doing. It's not, it doesn't, you know, again, I've, I've, I've seen different podcasts and shows and stuff and you see how sometimes, you know, you know, again, people do their thing, but you could tell the clickbait stuff versus the stuff that no, nah, no, nah, this is real conversation because right. I can relate yeah. to it. Or even if I haven't spoken it out, you know, I, I was thought thinking, right. <laughs> yeah. I right. thought about that. Exactly. And so right. it was less like, ooh, to the week. So uh I'm mm -hmm. excited about you guys coming to uh the Pacific Northwest. Um uh, you guys gonna have to come back again. And of and, course, yeah. of course. This is our second yeah. time actually coming out this way. Um, oh, really? we we did uh we did the year before that we year, did Tacoma last Tacoma year. Tacoma last year. Portland and we did Portland year. November of 2022. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And um both time both both times that we went out there, it was a great vibe. Amazing energy. Great vibe. Like I didn't expect it. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, I don't know what they're doing out there, but it was fun. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Well, well, you know, you it, we gonna try to make it extra saucy because y'all got OG one coming in the building. Hey, it's gonna, hey, you know, hey, provide hey, some hey, soundtrack, you know, you know, at uh helium. And so again, I'm excited about the show. Uh anybody that's tuned in and watching this again, make sure you come out. The first show is in Tacoma on September 13th at mm -hmm. the Super Funny uh, Comedy Club out there. Shout out to Nate Jackson out there. Yes. I hear, uh, yes. The guy out there, uh, as well as coming to Portland on the 14th, that Saturday, September yes. 14th. Yes. Make sure y'all come. That's going to be at the Helium uh yeah. comedy club and um mm -hmm. it's an early show too it's an early it show that's how i was looking it's our at first that. time doing that it's yeah the first time really it's like you can come do it and then whatever else you got going on that day you can go home and do that or whatever but yeah. like you know yeah. and, everybody and, like and then we had time, you know what i mean just <laughs> hey a little song. A little daytime fun. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> yeah, I already started. I already started. That's him. That is all him. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Hey, but I'm 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 looking forward to uh joining you guys. Uh and where where are you guys originally from? We're in Virginia Beach. So Virginia Beach. um I'm from Virginia Beach, born in DC, from Virginia Beach. He uh is from New York and then Okay, in Yeah, that's an interesting. To... That's an interesting combination. Yeah. Oh, yeah. New York and oh, yeah. VA. Oh, yeah. I'm very yeah. country. And <laughs> honestly, he's been in VA uh, long enough because he went to yeah. school here. But like, it's it's interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah. So she, I was she, I was born in Virginia. I was really? born in really? Fal yeah, Falls Church. I was born. Oh, okay. So all my oh, family, okay. all my family is back there. Vienna, yeah. Springfield, you know. All that, that's where all my family, I, I moved to California and, and grew up in California mm. as a uh, as a young teen, uh, pre mm. in teenage years before I moved to uh, Portland. But uh, okay. yeah, all my family, all my family is back on, on that side of town. That's so funny. Dope. Nobody talks about VA enough. I met so many people that are like, I got family in Virginia. I'm from Virginia. And I'm like, no one ever talks about VA enough. So yeah, I mean, it's yeah. legends that didn't come out of VA. Legends. A lot. A lot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So anything, you know, anything you guys want to say to the, you know, Tacoma fans, the, the Portland fans that, you know, you want to say before you get in town? Yeah, man. Be prepared to laugh. Be prepared to have a good time. A good time. Yeah. Like, the show is that much better when you are ready for a show because some people come in there just being cute and everything like mm, what they gonna do what they gonna do I yeah see. and we are not <laughs> yeah, that. Nah, nah. we are very much involved like yeah. hey chill out yeah we all here having a good time but like it's very right. like we talk to everybody like it's it's very like re it's relaxed but it's a good time yeah. it's fun yeah come uh, come awesome. with your energy man bring it the more energy you give us the more energy we give y'all yeah you know absolutely because it's it's it, you know it's it's all about uh laughter and it's all about the jokes and you know the jokes are just better when you're in it you know what i mean like when you're laughing with us yeah so, yeah 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 that's yeah, great that definitely and, 
And so uh, in terms of people that are new to you guys and, and want to follow you, uh, how can they follow you? Uh, you can go to And Then We Pod on all social networks except Truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> not, we not on there. We not on there. I forgot. I forgot that was a second. Yeah, that, 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 that's that is one. Yeah. Um. So like Instagram at or X Twitter, uh, Facebook, everything like TikTok. Everything is and then we pod YouTube. Okay. Yeah, all of that. Yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah I heard it right here, my people. And then we, y'all yeah. check them out. You know, September 13th in Tacoma and, and September 14th right here in the Rose City with your special guest, DJ OG1. And I appreciate y'all tapping in to In These Streets. And, uh, man, until next time, y'all, y'all know what it is. Oh.